Can you guys hear that in the background? My annoying birds. Oh man, I do, I do not like birds right now. They are annoying. But what's going on everyone? This is Noob Sniper, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. Um, last we left off, we were starting our building here, and we're going to continue it and hopefully finish it this episode. But all I keep hearing in this one little pen is pigs dying. There's nothing in here to kill them. All they're doing is running into the corner, trapping each other and suffocating each other like dummies. It's happened in the chicken farm too a, little, a few times. And uh, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why they're being dumb, but they are. They're dumb and they're not smart. So, how's everyone been? I've been pretty good. I have been recovering again, once again, from my allergies. I really need to go see a specialist. I need to go find out what's going on with me and why they happen so often. And if there's anything I can do for them. But, I am doing fairly well. I am feeling good now. And I will be finishing up this build. You guys said you really liked it. And a lot of you guys suggested that I instead, um, or not instead, I should add a middle part here. Sort of like a castle. Now, if you have to understand that these aren't going to be super high. They're only going to be one and a half blocks higher. Um, so they're not going to be huge towers, which is what I like because, wait, I, wait, I like it being smaller, not huge towers. That's what I meant to say. Um, just because when they're huge towers, it kind of kills the skyline. And when you're in a smaller house like this, it offers more of a natural environmental look. But I mean, how natural can you get with this huge flat plane here? But aside from that, I've gone ahead and I've made some dyes as well as made some wool. Now what I failed to realize until just recently was that I actually need um, five types of wool. I need red, black, cyan, purple, and blue. Now what I'm going to do is hopefully just um, use as much of these as I need and then convert the rest just straight up into blue wool. Hopefully I can do that. If not, I have to go find some white sheep or just re-dye some of those. Maybe I should do that now. I'll, I will probably do that now. I also went ahead and I just uh, took out some of the floor here and placed it with stone bricks just because that's you know tedious stuff that doesn't need to be on screen. Now, um, I accidentally deleted the creative world that I was working this on, but I do generally remember what I wanted to do here. And I can tweak it and whatnot. So, uh, first things first, you want to take these out. And these floors will all be replaced with a, a nicer flooring. Three, four. Three, four. Now I need to do these to all of. Need, do you need to do this to all of these? That's what I meant to say. Stumbling over my own words. And these will be the frame um, for the the wool. So I'll just show you guys quickly what that looks like. I use cyan here. One, two, three, four, and then oh, five. It needs to be five, and then I take that on the perimeter. Actually, I'll just do that now. Three, four, five, and I just do this along the perimeter. Nothing too crazy, and then I just top these off with stone slabs, or stone brick slabs. Excuse me. Yep, nothing too crazy, too fancy, and then it goes something like this. There you go. And the design on each of these um, roofs, I guess it would be called, are different. You'll see them once I finish them up, but that's generally how I want it to look from the inside so that it's easily identifiable from the inside. It's not like you're going to be questioning which is where. It's uh, easy to see, and then I'll color coordinate all of these with items. So uh, I'll, I'll show you guys once I'm all done that. So I'll be right back once I have all of these destroyed and laid out with some wool. And here we go. These are the four colors I'm going to be going with. Blue, cyan, red, and purple. The purple, I can't deny, it's a little Etho inspired in the sense that... No, not inspired, excuse me. It's uh, dedicated to Etho because one episode recently, Etho was working on a color scheme and he said purple was one of his favorite colors. Purple and I think green, so... Purple it is, Etho. There you go. My per personal favorite is blue, then cyan, then red. And so I'll be doing a little quick time lapse here with a little bit of music over. And I'll just be putting the roofs on as well as the half stone slabs above these guys. So here we go.
Okay, so I think that is the majority of the work here in terms of roofing the stuff and getting everything laid out. I will change uh, some of these. The entire floor won't be uh, stone brick. It'll consist of regular stone, regular smooth stone, uh, furnaces, and a fountain in the middle, which someone suggested, but I had already you know, planned on doing that. So whoever made that suggestion, good on you. You're a mind reader. Um, right now, actually, I need lots and lots of glass, which I don't exactly have a abundance of a abundance of is it is expression an abundance of or a abundance of an, an abundance of okay let's make sure two three four five okay and the middle is right here i believe yep now from here it's just random little patterns that i designed you know i'm honestly i can just do this on the fly pick whatever i want and Okay, cool. That's a pattern. Like, that's all I need. It's, it's going to toss some glass in there, and I'll change the patterns up. Uh, some rooms will let a little bit more natural light in. Others will let less in. It all just depends on the pattern. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy here. If you guys have any suggestions for patterns, free, free, feel free. Well, I'm stumbling over all my words today. Feel free to leave a suggestion below. Open to all suggestions. The middle has to be open though, like that's one thing. Um, I think I did something like this before. Bit of a cross. And then the corners here. Opened up. Oh, and uh, the corners here, the corners of these, um, in each pillar. Um, I did it purposely, left a space purposely for two reasons. One, it is to allow you from inside to be able to see, I guess, sort of into the back what color it is. I forgot that in, in the design, I kind of made a boo-boo and I covered all of this up with, uh, with bricks. I, I remember that now, or at least when I was doing it. Um, and I guess that's okay because, you know, these are enough. This is enough here, but a little bit. It's just a tiny little hint of what color it's going to be. And also, I'm going to be putting lattice here to get to the top of each one. Um, that looks all right. Nothing too fancy. Let's get to the next one. Now, I wish I could be a little bit more fancy, but um, not too. I'm not really good with design here. I wanted to do sort of like a swirl where it's like each arm has a swirl, but I realized it kind of looked like a swastika when I did it. And I was like, oh, that would be bad. Um, yeah, something even like this, right? Um, you can see like the intention is a swirl, but it ends up kind of looking like a swastika from above. Um, I guess that's not too too bad actually. That one is not too bad. I added the little extra block right there. Um, we'll see how that is. If you guys think it's too much like a swastika, we can definitely change it. Don't mean to offend anyone. I promise you. I promise you. I'm gonna need more glass, and I'll probably have to run to the desert and get some more. Um, No, I think it has enough of a swirl pattern to, that it doesn't look like a swastika. Hope not. And swastika is the... Okay, I'm not trained and I'm not educated very well. But what I know is it is a symbol of Nazi Germany during the... Or, well, it's a symbol of Nazi Germany in general. And it's uh, pretty rude to use that. So hoping that doesn't resemble it too, too much. And I can get away with that swirl pattern that I want. Which one was it? Was it this one? Nope. It was blue. Blue. I guess I don't even need to go up there, do I? Oh, I kind of don't want... Let's see. That, uh, that, that to me looks a little too much like a swastika. Let's see from above here. Three. Three. 
Oh, that definitely looks way too much like a swastika. All right, we'll change that. Yeah, that's not going to fly by me. Nope. Definitely not. Um, now can we use... I guess we can use this, though. Oh, we can do this. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Then we don't lose too much gloss here. Similar to the other pattern, except we extend the... Um, Hmm, maybe it's too similar to the other pattern. How about something like this? Looks more like a star, I guess. Hmm, that's not bad. If we did something like this. Hmm, it's kind of cool. These look... These don't fit. I'll do something like this. Okay, just a very simple kind of circular pattern here. Circular or square? Square. It's like, that's like a checkerboard. Okay. We'll do something like that. That works. And it's definitely not offensive. So, for this last one, ethos. Dedicated to etho. What shall we do here? Hmm. Definitely no swastikas. Um, see, I had all these patterns in my other world, and then I deleted it like a nub. Okay, how about this? Sort of like an arm. Oh, that won't work, will it? Wait, one, two. No, it definitely won't work on this side here. Oh, we can, well, we can just leave it like that then. What's one? One. Yeah, I'd have to take these two blocks out, which is not going to work. Oh, uh, then it'd work. Well, that'd be fine, yeah. That'd be cool. Probably probably my coolest design right there. And I am a dumb. And I also need to eat. Where is my food? Food! Nom 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 nom. Haven't got any creepers or zombies or skeletons around here, which is a good thing. Very good thing, very good thing. I will need to get more sand anyways. The walls and the uh, windows will need to be covered up here. Hmm, that looks alright. Yeah, that looks cool enough. Now, each of these rooms will have, uh, I believe, 12 chests. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 32. Yes, and then there's three more here. I think it's about 32 or 33 um, chests in total for each room. So we're going to pretty much have a chest for each individual item which is a lot better than having to in my opinion put you know four or five different types of things in a single category or in a single chest that is so we got that done now I need to work on the entrances the this is just the back entrance wait no that's the all right where's the Sun I wanted to work with the Sun here all right that's rising so I want the windows here and the front and the back over here. All right, so this is the front of the house, front of the building. I believe it comes out to about here. I'll just replace this with stone bricks. And the front, in my opinion, is uh, pretty cool. It has a cool design to it, if I can remember how to do it properly. Um, Oops, and I'll kind of spoil it here. Um, basically, does it need to be out one more? I can't remember if it's flush or not. I don't think it was flush. I think it was something like this. Two or three high. Something similar to that. Yes, yes. And then right in here, as you walk in the door, blocks there and you know like the whole walls fin uh, filled and right here
will be two pillars. One will be of water, one will be of lava. So from the outside, you'll be able to see it, as well as uh, as you walk in, there'll be water and lava on one of the sides here. And um, nothing special, nothing too crazy, but I like it, I like it. All right, and I need to finish the front. I need to remember how to do the front. Huh. Here comes the back over here. Now the back was one block less than the other one. Because it was sort of just a plain entrance, you know, or I guess plain exit, nothing really special to it. So I didn't want to extend it all the way to the front here. And I also didn't want it to be fully flush, as in if the wall was like built on this line, flush with this wall. I didn't want that. I thought as a design, um, it would look better to keep the, a bit of a circular feel to it. So let's say something like this. Oops. Right, that looks a little bit better, and it still offers some um, some shape to the building. Instead of if it was just completely flat, it'd just be a giant flat wall, and that's not exactly pretty. So I need to remember how to do this now. I think it was you build up with um, I put some stone stairs here and some half slabs all over the place. So I have to remember how to do that. I think this was one up. Yeah, this was one up here. And so I think the other side was one up as well. Come on, three, four. There we go. Yeah, that's it. And there was an iron door right here, pretty much like that. And then, yeah, okay. I think I remember it. Now I'm gonna be doing those fronts uh, later, just because I can probably jump into a Creative World and try to replicate them. Um, Instead of doing them on the fly, because if I do them on the fly, I'll have to like you know, take it down, replace it, fix it, this and that, and the other things. So, at least like this, if I jump into a creative world, I'll be able to generally figure out what I want, and I'll just be able to do it really quickly and not bore you guys too much. So, that's what the front of the house is going to look like. There's, you know, this is going to be filled in a little bit up there, but generally, uh, if you go from a distance here. It'd be pretty cool. Blue, purple, on the other side it would be cyan and red from that side would be red and purple. And that side would be cyan and blue. So uh, what I want to do here on this side was I want to get the the wall done. Now one, two. I think it was like that. Yeah, and there was stairs here, so let's make these stairs. Not out of dirt, I don't think you can do that. Yeah, stone brick stairs, and I had glass panes here. Bam. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. Something like that. Um, so you can sort of get up here and look out. This would be the sunset. I think the sun is setting. Oh, no, it's still just high noon, maybe 1 or 2 o'clock. Um, so this would be the nice sunset. That would be the sunrise, um, front and in, in the north, south. Wait, rise in the east. Yeah, north over here. Um, okay, we need to do this side as well. Just pretty much the same thing. Oh, can you hear my parents? They be yelling at my brother for whatever reason. And make more stairs. One, two, three. I'll need more glass. Yeah. And also upside down stairs, right? Oh, what the heck are you doing? Why aren't you cooperating? Thank you very much. That is my stair. That's how I walk upstairs. I walk up these weird looking stairs. Oh no, there it is. There it goes. Alright, something like that, and then I'll take this out. Can I actually take these out? Eh. Don't want to break the stairs. Upside down stairs. So, 1.3 right around the corner. If, uh, if I upload this video when I want to, which is July 31st, then 1.3 is just tomorrow, man. That is awesome. Hey guys, there seems to be a problem with this window. It seems to be transparent. Or wait, 
Windows are transparent. Wow, that was a face palm. It meant invisible. Derp. Um, so I'm going to cover up really quickly and say, oh, yes, 1.3. That's going to be awesome. And I'm definitely excited for that. That looks... It's going to be exciting. Uh, villagers trading. All this good stuff. I need to go find some more villages. I know we had one going that way. But all the villagers died, or at least most of them did. And I think I saw a village out this way past the desert. I'll have to go double check that. But if so, then we'll have a fresh desert that way. Um, and so we could do some trading there. What I want to do is make a shop system in a village. Uh, pretty much just isolate the villagers and have them completely safe in their own little secluded houses I guess and that will be a ability to trade with them like that so we'll have to run around and chase them and figure out who's who and what trades what I'll just have to put them in their houses uh, set them up so that they're good and ready to trade and change all the doors to iron doors that's something I want to do because I don't want to take the risk of having any um, zombies break in or what have you I am playing on normal but I oh yeah they can't break in whatever they're still annoying so I'm going I'm gonna go grab some more glass I'm gonna fix this little hole right here and actually I'm just, I'm just gonna call that an episode I'll do this off screen and I want to thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you did and you have any suggestions for the building by the way feel free to leave them in the comments below and if not I'd ask that you guys support the channel support me support you guys support yourself be yourself um, and like the video or give it a thumbs up that'd be really awesome if you enjoyed it and other than that I hope you have a great day I'm excited for 1.3 if you're excited for 1.3 Leave a comment, tell me what you are the most excited for, and that would be cool to hear. So, thanks guys, and have a great day.